Hello everyone, and welcome back to my channel. Today, we're going to talk about a controversial topic that has been making rounds on the internet. Is cow milk pus and blood? I'm here to give you the facts, let's start. Cow milk has been a staple of the human diet for thousands of years. But in recent years, some have raised concerns about the quality of milk and the conditions in which it is produced. One common belief is that cow milk contains pus and blood. So, is there any truth to this claim? Some people believe that cow milk contains pus and blood. What is your response to that? Well it's a common misconception. Milk is not pus, and it does not contain blood. While it is true that cows can get mastitis, which is an infection of the udder, farmers work hard to prevent and treat this condition. Milk from cows with mastitis is not allowed to enter the food supply, and farmers are required to follow strict regulations to ensure the milk is safe and of high quality. So what is mastitis and how it is treated? Mastitis is a common condition in dairy cows, and it can be caused by bacteria or other factors. Farmers work closely with veterinarians to prevent and treat mastitis. This can include proper sanitation practices, regular testing for mastitis, and the use of antibiotics when necessary. Farmers must follow strict withdrawal times to ensure that milk from treated cows is not used for human consumption. Are there any concerns about the safety of milk from cows with mastitis? While it is true that milk from cows with mastitis can contain higher levels of somatic cells, which are white blood cells that can indicate infection, there is no evidence that this poses a health risk to consumers. Milk from cows with mastitis is rigorously tested and must meet strict standards before it can be sold to the public. What are the nutritional benefits of cow milk? Cow milk is an excellent source of calcium, vitamin D, and other essential nutrients. Calcium is crucial for building strong bones and teeth, while vitamin D helps the body absorb calcium. Additionally, cow milk is a good source of protein, which is essential for building and repairing tissues in the body. Some people choose to avoid cow milk for ethical reasons. What do you say to that? It's important to recognize that the dairy industry is responsible for the exploitation and suffering of animals. Cows are often treated as commodities and are subjected to a range of abuses, including confinement, forced insemination, and the separation of mothers from their calves. By choosing plant-based milk alternatives, we can still get the nutrients we need without contributing to animal cruelty. With the rise in popularity of plant-based diets, there are now many different types of milk alternatives available, such as almond, soy, and oat milk. These plant-based options can be a great alternative for those who choose to avoid cow milk for ethical or dietary reasons. Are there any health concerns associated with drinking cow milk? For some people, cow milk can be difficult to digest. Lactose intolerance is a common condition where the body can't digest lactose, the sugar found in milk. This can lead to symptoms like bloating, gas, and diarrhea. Additionally, some people may be allergic to the proteins found in cow milk. For those who are not lactose intolerant or allergic to cow milk proteins, drinking milk in moderation as part of a balanced diet can be a healthy choice. However, it's important to choose low-fat or non-fat milk to reduce saturated fat intake and to avoid added sugars in flavored milk products. Are there any health benefits to drinking plant-based milk? Plant-based milk alternatives can be a great source of nutrients, depending on the type of milk. For example, almond milk is a good source of vitamin E and unsaturated fats, while soy milk is high in protein and contains all of the essential amino acids. Oat milk is a good source of fiber, which can help lower cholesterol levels. However, it's important to choose unsweetened versions of these milk alternatives to avoid added sugars. How does the government regulate the safety of cow milk? The government sets strict standards for the production, testing, and labeling of milk products. These standards are enforced by regulatory agencies such as the FDA and USDA. Milk is tested at various points in the production process to ensure that it meets safety and quality standards. Additionally, dairy farmers are required to follow specific regulations and guidelines to ensure the safety of their milk. So, is cow milk really pus and blood? The answer is no. While cows can develop mastitis, milk from cows with this condition is not allowed to enter the food supply. It is a nutritious beverage that provides us with calcium, vitamin D, and other essential nutrients. 
However, it's important to note that not all milk is created equal. The conditions in which cows are raised and the processing methods used can greatly affect the quality of the milk. For those who choose to avoid cow milk for ethical or dietary reasons, there are now many different types of plant-based milk alternatives available. The key is to choose a milk product that meets your individual needs and preferences. That's it for today's video. I hope this cleared up any confusion about cow milk and pus slash blood. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more informative content. Thanks for watching.